Hey what's up guys welcome to Laravel. In today's video we will be looking at how we can manage our route files. By default Laravel comes with web.php file. If you see here inside the routes folder there is web.php file and also there are other routes file. So this api.php we will use for creating APIs but basically we'll use web.php for front end and back end routing. And now let's say you have a lot of routes in this web.php and all the routes for front end and as well as all the routes for the back end or admin panel that are in the same web.php file. And whenever project grows this file will get huge. And whenever you need to find a route then you have to just scroll and scroll. Of course you can do a search but wouldn't it be great if we could manage this admin routes in a separate file? Yes, we can do that. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, let's see what we get whenever we visit a dashboard. So here guys, whenever we visit a dashboard, we'll see this dashboard text. So if I go here inside, so you can see that it is just a normal inside the dashboard and inside articles as well. This is just a normal. Okay. So here we'll say here articles and it is just returning the articles. Now let us create a separate file inside this routes.php. Let's say admin.php and now let us move this code from here to here and let us also create a, a php opening tag and let us import the route okay now let us also import the admin dashboard controller and articles controller so now guys we have done this and we have removed it from here now if i come here and refresh the page now i will see a 404 page because by default lara will will look into web.php and it will not find that route because we have added that route in admin.php now how to tell laravel that we also have admin.php file so we have to go to route service provider here which is inside app providers and route service providers and you can see it over here and you can see here guys the laravel registers the routes using route service provider and it registers here the boot method and you can see here the routes being registered so you can share the api.php and web.php now we know that we have created admin.php file now we'll register it from here so we'll just duplicate this web.php because all the admin related code within the web.php we are moving to another file so we'll just do this and instead of web.php we'll say here admin.php so you can see here guys inside the routes here we have admin.php and this base path will give us the path to the app folder so this app folder and after that we'll look into routes and then admin.php so now we have defined this now if i just come here and refresh the page now you can see here guys laravel can find those routes and again if i go to dashboard also then also it will find that route and also guys if you see here in the admin.php file here so here we are using prefix and it is giving us one level of indentation and we can also remove this prefix admin from here and move it to this one so let's say here prefix admin like this and we can remove it from here and if i come here and refresh the page now you can see here guys it is working the same way now look at here guys let's say you have uh, hundreds of routes for the admin panel then it can go here in admin.php file and every other routes that can go here in the web.php which is related to the front end so now guys you can also add middleware so let's say you want to add specific middleware to the admin routes then you can do middleware and give the any middleware that you want here so that's how we can manage routing in our project for larger projects and if your project is very small then you don't have to do this just stick with web.php file and if your project grows then you can just move it it will just take a couple of minutes so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye